Hi, good day to all of you. This is Jip Ng. Today, I prepared this video to introduce to all of you a very beautiful semi-detached house located at District 16 near Bodo area. And this particular semi-detached house was rebuilt only about seven or the most eight years ago, right? It comes with a very beautiful plot of land having a frontage of 12.2 meter yes i think that's really impressive as all of you are aware a minimum way for a semi-detached house only require for eight meter but this particular one come with 12.2 meters so can you imagine you know the kind of frontage that you will be enjoying yeah i think there's something very very impressive and the particular land is in a true rectangular uh, shape. I think this is something also hard to come by, especially at a freehold status, right? And the house also comes with a swimming pool, uh, a very flat piece of ground, of land that I think um, I already fall in love when I first looking at it, right? So today I'm going through uh, some of the aspects of this house and I'm going to do a slight analysis on why I felt that this particular land property uh, it's really worth for all of you to come down and take a look, right? So without further ado, let me go through some of the data that I have prepared for all of you. Yeah, first of all, I think every one of us actually are aware lender property is actually on the uh, high demand, right? Now you can see from this age property report, uh, 8.9 billion sold in 2021, meaning actually more people are coming into the market to snap up good landed property right and of course more and more people are aware of the true value of owning a piece of land in singapore especially the freehold one especially the land plot is a nice plot i think that is very very important right so let's ask let us look at some of the data here right you can see actually landed property uh, make up only 4.9 percent 4.9 percent of the total population in singapore uh, have the privilege of owning a landed property in singapore 4.9 percent oh my goodness so this is really the the very very few that have a chance to really own a good plot of land in singapore right so only 4.9 percent and if you look at the number right landed property why are so precious in Singapore? Because our land, Singapore actually is a land scarce area, a country, right? So landed property only contributed the latest numbers uh, I gotten from Saint State was 68,500 units, right? So out of the almost 1.4 million residential property in Singapore, landed property only contributed 68,500 units. So can you imagine this kind of number, right? Definitely the price for land property is going to appreciate even further, right? Uh, moving forwards because the supply for land property is really very, very limited. And bear in mind, government don't sell freehold land in Singapore anymore, right? So whatever you can get the freehold property you have to buy from the resale owner, right? So definitely every resale owner, every owner, the property owner, they are aware of how uh, limited supply was for landed property in Singapore, right? So if they want to sell, if their land is really a good plot of land, definitely they will not want to sell you cheap, right? So one of the best way if you understand how the landed property market are behaving, it's actually you pay what the owner wanted to sell, right? So long as it is reasonable, I think we should not like hesitant to go ahead to purchase it because the moment you buy it, you hold on to it, sooner or later, you will be realizing the amount of price difference from the original purchase price that you paid to the owner that is the wonder and the beauty of owning a landed property in singapore and it will continue to climb right so right now only we have 68,500 units and if you break down the 68,500 units you can see actually mangrove which is the detached house uh, is 
one of the rare one, only less than 10,000 units. Well, the exact number show here was 8,930 units. And if you talk about the semi-detached bunk, semi-detached house, we are talking about only 20,000 odd. 20,000 odd, right? And terraces contributed to 38,000, right? 38,000 plus. So these are the overall numbers of landed property that you are able to find in Singapore. Yeah, but bear in mind, all these numbers consist of 99 and freehold. So if you are going to take away the 99 years leasehold landed property, I'm sure the freehold one numbers will be even lesser. Right, so with this kind of numbers, do you think that the price would come down? Well, I think Jolly Well, you will know the answer. It's very, very difficult for the property price to drop down anymore. Right, it will only go stronger, higher, moving forwards. Yeah, when the market is bad, the owner will choose to hold onto this property, so they will never want to sell. Right, so they only sell when the market is actually stronger <coughs> is more active and so on right <coughs> so if you wait further i'm sure you are not able to to be able to purchase a cheaper lender property yeah unless the land or the lender the the, the house is not uh, located at a very good location i mean the well, there's a lot of negative aspect on this particular plot of land or the land is in a, for example a triangular shape right that kind of things you might be able to pick up slightly cheaper than what the market are going for other than that a good plot of landed house will never come cheap moving forwards irregardless of what is the market condition yeah so only 20,000 up unit are semi-detached yeah, so if you have this, the fun, if you have the ability to go for bungalow, I think is one of the best choice because we're only looking at about 8,900 units. Yeah, and the next best one will be the semi-detached house. Anyway, you will get a different enjoyment, enjoyment become, be, I mean, uh, for a semi-detached house and for example, compared to an inter-terrace, it's totally different kind of enjoyment. All right, for semi-D, you will get the side setback, you will get a side wall that are able to open up more doors, more windows. Therefore, the lights that are coming into the house will be actually better, much more as compared to the inter-terrace. And the ventilation is another issue for terraces as well. Right, so semi-detached house allowed you not only to have a better status, but in terms of enjoyment, it really make a big difference compared to a terraces. Right, so this is my um, research data for all of you in terms of the number of units um, in Singapore. I hope you can maybe have some idea from here as of which type of property that you want to go for, right? And I also actually take the initiative of compiling, you know, the last 20 years, uh, okay, overall whole Singapore national average for landed, freehold landed property appreciated by 273% last 20 years, right? So imagine those people who buy 20 years ago today, they are really sitting on a gold mine, right? And what happened moving forwards in the next 5, 10, 15 or 20 years? Do you foresee this particular numbers will continue to climb or not based on the number of units that are available in the whole of Singapore I'm sure this curve will continue to inch up right so the sooner you buy a landed property definitely you are able to get a better you are able to get a better price uh, I mean if you look back next time right so national average about 273 percent right and since this particular lender property that I'm introducing to all of you is located in District uh, 16, I also pulled out the District 16 uh, freehold lender property, right? So you can see actually it is quite close to national average in terms of the average per square foot increment in the last 20 years. So we are talking about close to 250%, right? And that actually imply District 16 freehold landed property in fact is actually in good demand right and the prospect the future appreciation actually look very bright as well right so this is in the last 20 years district 16 
uh, property trend. And if you look at the last 20 years, if we break down into the different type of landed property like terrace, semi-D and detached, you can see the national average for terrace actually gone up by 266%. Semi-D went up by 276% and detached actually went up by 334%. Right. So definitely, if you have the means, by buying a detached is one of the best choice, right? And then uh, followed by semi-D and terrace. So that is actually how the three different categories of landed property performing in the last 20 years in the whole of Singapore. And again, I pulled out the District 16, right? You also proven that District 16, detached house also are doing much better than semi-D and terrace. And semi-detached is doing again so much better than a terraces, right? So we are talking about 271% in the last 20 years for District 16 freehold semi-D uh, performance is actually definitely doing much better than terrace. That's why I say if you have the means, go for the big one. Right, like semi D, or if not, go for detached house. Yeah, so that is something that is already proven, and we have this data put up from URA to show to all of you. Right, and District 16 is under a three story mixed landed estate. Right, so this pink color denotes this is actually a safe guarded than landed area whereby this particular area only can build landed property. So you will never experience one day your neighbors start to combine a few houses and then build an apartment, right? This is not allowed in the pink color zone, which is a safe guarded landed area, right? So it can be very sure that your neighbor will remain as a landed house, you know, as long as this particular zoning never change. Yeah, so this can be found in URA and I really personally felt that if you want to stay in landed property, you will want everybody to be a landed uh, property, right? You don't want one day your neighbor be, become a six-story tall apartment. I think that is something that you don't want to see as well, right? So that's why we have this thing called safe guarded landed area in Singapore whereby nobody are able to build apartment except landed property, right? That's why it's called safe guarded landed house, housing zone. Yeah, so this is District 16. The unit that I'm introducing to all of you is actually located in this particular area. Yeah, right. And next, ah, look at this very beautiful plot of land, right? You have almost, it's actually a true rectangular plot of land. Uh, and it's very big size, 4,143 square feet. I think that's something unique in a way. So if you want to own a landed property, the land plot is important because the irregular or odd-shaped land plot might not be able to command as much as a regular plot of land. Yeah, over time, definitely you will see higher appreciation if you are holding onto this kind of very regular plot of land and this land is really beautiful because we have a 12.2 meter frontage 12.2 meter frontage i think for a semi-detached is quite rare and you really get the kind of enjoyment almost similar like a small bungalow right so that's why i say it's very very impressive and it's not facing the main route you are not facing the junction right it's very very quiet and then i think uh, this is uh, all the important attributes if you are looking for landed property right people love to stay in a very serene very exclusive landed estate and this particular house actually meet the requirement right 12.2 meter oh my god ah, that's beautiful right okay and one thing I want to highlight to all of you is actually because of this COVID yeah, right now all the construction cost the labor cost material cost in singapore has gone up a lot right so today if you are going to buy a very old landed property whereby you are thinking of pulling it down and you can do your own rebuilding i'm sure you have to pay a much much higher building cost uh, to factor into your purchase price right if you are going to do it and it might have to take a much longer period to complete the building Right, so this is something that you have to be aware. You might have to actually 
you know, uh, spend a lot of time monitoring the whole project, you know, run up and down, meet the architect, meet the builders, go to the material uh, shops, warehouse to pick up whatever material they want to use. Along the way, when you build, you might face some difficulty and you have to alter your plan as well, right? And the price will definitely uh, step up from what you have original plan for, right? Meaning you will have to spend much more money if you're going to build a house today. Yeah, so I think because of this, that's why a lot of buyers actually choose to go and buy a brand new or if not already rebuilt house so that they don't have to go through that kind of hustle and they can have a peace of mind. Everything already done up. They can see the quality, they can see the finishing, they can see the layout, they can see the effects, right? So that is something that I think is changing in today's market after COVID uh, happened, right? So unlike the older day, a lot of buyer they prefer to buy an old house and then they rebuild themselves. But right now, the game plan might change, right? So you have to be aware of all these additional costs uh, that you need to put in um, if you are going to buy an old house. So if you can find a good plot of land whereby it's already rebuilt before, right? For example, this particular unit that I'm going to introduce to all of you, they say it's only rebuilt less than 10 years. We are talking about only about eight years ago. I think that is very still well uh, maintained. And of course, um, eight years ago, if you compare the construction cost is definitely cheaper than what you need to pay now, right? So at least the owner will not expect to, to factor in whatever they paid for the construction cost at this moment as compared to eight years ago meaning you are able to get a much more reasonable price if you actually are doing up the sum correctly right so that is something that maybe you want to take note as well and this particular unit that i am going to introduce to you is only uh, is actually a three-story semi-detached house the length is about 4,143 square feet. Build up is about 5,500 square feet. And the asking price from the owner is 6.388. Uh, but um, the owner says it's negotiable, right? If they say we base on only $300 per square foot for the build up area, the house itself will have to cost $1.65 million, right? And today you might not be able to get even a $300 per square foot to build up a landed property, right? It might have to pay much higher, yeah? So if I just use $300 per square foot, the land cost you are paying is only $4.738, meaning this particular asking price, I might away the building construction cost so the land cost actually is about 4.738 and if you divide by 4143 you are literally paying only 1091 per square foot only yeah so a freehold land rate at 1000 odd per square foot have a frontage of 12.2 meter do you think is reasonable or not that's a question that i want to ask all of you and you don't have to wait for one and a half year two years to get a house because this is actually a resale property but it's not an old house it's actually something the owner my owner really rebuilt you know uh, eight years ago and this particular land is really very beautiful why because it's a flat land because as you know a lot of land property actually come with a speed level land i think that is something not so user friendly and it's very difficult for you to put furniture arrangement that kind of things with a flat ground i think it's very very uh precious and i will i am quite certain right in the future, if you want to sell to any buyer, they are able to accept, right? Because flat land doesn't come by easily. And uh, flat land with a good wide frontage of 12.2 meter and it's a true rectangular land facing the quiet street, very serene environment. And I think uh, we are also talking about like, you know, very near to the primary school, the Budok market, the kind of things. Yeah, eatery is around and some of them even open 24-7. So these are something that will make your stay here a present one. And of course, you can rest assured that by holding on to this house, in the future, you will start to see the appreciation again because big land, freehold, good land size, good frontage, good shape, 
doesn't come by easily right and this house it can save a lot on the construction cost as well because the owner actually did up the minimalist concept right so every buyer can accept the the uh, house uh, condition i'm very very certain you just have to add on to your own preference then that's good enough right very very thoughtful and it comes with a very big swimming pool as well uh, so for those people who really enjoy swimming at home right you want to enjoy a good time with your family members i think this particular house will not disappoint you yeah so after talking for so much i uh, just want to hopefully i mean if you are looking for a landed property a good landed property a good plot of land at a reasonable price i really urge you to uh, get in touch with me right so that i can help you to hook up this particular viewing on this units i'm sure you will like it i'm very certain and uh, based on the analysis i think this particular house is going at a market rate at a reasonable price it's not overpriced at all right so with that i hope you enjoy this short share sharing right on this freehold lender of the my name is jeep Ng, and i'm with Propnex realty right you can reach me at 9477-2000 9477-2000 and i'm We'll be very happy to arrange the viewing for all of you, right? So that we can walk through the house to check whether is it suitable for your family needs and enjoyment or not. With that, my name is Jip Ng and I will see you very soon.